Hello and welcome to my second video of Doctor Who DVDs. Before I kick off with Patrick Troughton, I'd like to uh, just go back to William Hartnell. I have got some uh, new DVDs, well, they're not DVDs as such, they're audio CDs. So let me just quickly show you. Uh, first of all, I've got the, uh, the Massacre of St. Bartholomew Reeves. I'll show you audio CD. This story I think is okay. Uh, it's not not something that I uh, would recommend as such. But if you like audio CDs, then go ahead. Uh, the next one I I got on audio CD is the uh, Celestial Toy Maker. Audio CD. Quickly put this back in there. Yeah, this story is really good. I like I like uh, the Celestial Toy Makers. It's one of my favourite stories from William Hartnell. Uh, next one of uh, William Hartnell audio CD is the Smugglers. Uh, I haven't listened to this story yet. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, I'm listening to it at the moment. I'm, I am listening to it at the moment, um, which should be in my D in my CD player at the moment. <laughs> and yes, it's a very good, very good story. I I do like it. Okay, so that's um, of William Hartnell, first Doctor. Now I'm moving on to the second Doctor, and I will go one by one. So starting off with. The Moon Base. I do like this story uh, featuring the Cybermen. And f c considering, you know, we haven't seen the Cybermen since the 10th Planet in William Hartnell, uh, they have changed their appearances, which I think is really creepy. In my opinion, I, I really do like it. I really like the uh, Cybermen in this story. It's uh, really creepy. I think it's the best Simon story of uh, Patrick Troughton, second Doctor. Now, next story. Can I quickly take it out? Uh, this is an audio CD, The Mark of Terror. Uh, sort of following on from the um, the Moon Base. This story, I do like it very creepy at some at some times good cliffhangers at the end of sort of the episodes and I do like the monsters you know the claws unfortunately you've got to sort of imagine it as it's audio CD unfortunately we can't see it on on sort of the telly there's some little sort of telly snaps of it on YouTube but unfortunately it's not the same as it's lost from the BBC archives so that's Mark of Terror next one is the uh, Faithless one. Now this story, um, I was sort of having some sort of doubts about it when I first got it because one, it's based on Heathrow, and two, the story is based, you know, that or or on on planes. But uh, you know, this when I first listened to it, and I can show you audio CD. When I got this, I saw. I really wanted it in the first place and and when I listened to it it's really good I really enjoyed it um, the end I never expected the end I never expected it to be that sort of ending so yeah it's it's uh, if you haven't listened to it I recommend you listen to it it's quite a sad ending but I wasn't expecting that <laughs> okay now moving on that's the uh, end of the audio CDs at the moment. I will get some more eventually. Uh, next one is the Tomb of the Simon special edition, as I got from the, uh, I think it's the box set, uh, number three, I think it was called. Uh, something bigger than our re revisitation or something like that. So, yeah. Uh, this story, Tomb of Simon, um, I don't think it's as good as Moonbase, um, but I really enjoyed it. And they've got the cyber leader in this one, which 
sort of makes the story better in some ways. Um, it, like I said, it's not as good as Moonbase. I like Moonbase. More creepier side than many Moonbase. Uh, next one. The Ice Warriors. When I heard this is going to be on DVD, because I saw, I, I did have it on video. Uh, and I saw some clips on YouTube as well. When I heard it going to be on DVD, I thought, wow. <laughs> I better get this. Even though some of the episodes are animated. You know, oh well. It completes it. So, uh, yeah. But the Ice Warriors. Um, I do like this story. But unfortunately, I'm not a fan of the Ice Warriors. You know, I don't find them that too scary. But the voices, you know, the voices for the Ice Warriors, that that makes it a bit more creepy. <laughs> but the Ice Warriors, not really my favourite story. Right, next story I've got is the uh, Enemy of the World. Uh, I do like this story. Uh, Salamander, played by Patrick Troughton, and Patrick Troughton plays the Doctor as well, so this story, very good. Um, probably one of my favourite stories in the Patrick Troughton era, and I do like it. Uh, next one is The Web of Fear, uh, the recent sort of release of Doctor Who, The Web of Fear. Uh, this is the first sort of... Uh, well, it's not the first story of the Yetis, but it's the first sort of DVD I got of the Yeti in my collection. And this is really good. I do like the Web of Fear. I like how it's all based underground, in the London Underground, and it's absolutely great. Great story, great plots, and of course, a Doctor, the Brigadier. Everyone actually played a good part in this story. Um, but would I call it my best one? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, let's say it's my best one. <laughs> uh, next one. The Dominators. Um, now, this is where it sort of lost its plot. I don't really like the story. Um, it's sort of a bit cheap. It's a bit cheesy at some times. I don't like it. And now I will continue in part two.